Just kind of talk us through this season, this first go around in the Big 12. Uh, like your coach said, you played in some amazing atmospheres and venues. What's kind of your perspective for the first year of UCF being in the Big 12? What, how did you kind of look back on this season and what you guys went through? I mean, honestly, we knew that it was going to be high intensity games and very difficult competition. And I think that we kept ourselves composed and that we showed up this year. Um, I mean, it's an amazing atmosphere to be in. I'm sure I'm speaking for majority of the team, but it's 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 honestly an amazing experience. You know, you go to a game like BYU where there's like thousands of people there and you kind of like get that experience of like keeping yourself composed and you learn different things throughout this. So I think that throughout this year, we kind of learned a lot of different lessons, but we also should be proud of what we've done. So you ended up picking up your first couple of goals as UCF Knight this season. What did it mean to you to be able to get to kind of get that for first all first all there? It felt great. Um, coming back from an ACL injury, I mean, you know, going over like different hurdles and bumps um, with like self identification and like going from youth soccer to college soccer is a huge gap that people talk about, but it's super, it's like super there. And so like coming back from that injury and not having, you know, like a goal under my belt kind of like took a hit to my confidence a little bit at first. But I think over the course of me being at UCF, I've kind of like loved and embraced my role here. And I think that the goals is just the cherry on top. Um, I love playing and like doing what I do for my team. So the goals is kind of just like an extra accolade. How do you feel the team has responded to injuries and adversity over the course of the season? Honestly, it's brought us closer together, you know, knowing that um, we've been missing some vital players um, kind of just has been giving us the mentality that like we have to like perform that much more and just give that much more energy in order to like perform on behalf of our teammates and also our um, program here. But I think that those injuries have given us an extra competitive fire to perform. And it's unfortunate, but I think that we've handled it in a good way. You play the late game uh, next week. Um, how does that, as a player, I think your coach was saying you'd rather play late game than early game. Is that a long day or what's that like? Just getting ready knowing you got to wait all the way until, was it like nine o'clock to play? Yeah, um, personally, I love a later game. Playing underneath the lights is like an, has an extra boost of enthusiasm from everyone, and I think that you know, coming from a player's perspective, it is going to be difficult to make sure that you're staying dialed in the entire day, just to make sure that you're staying focused and focus on like what the end goal of the day is. But it's never been a problem for UCF women's soccer. We always kind of just make sure we're staying dialed in, doing the right things to prepare ourselves, and I think that. 9 p.m. game is an awesome opportunity to just get after it. What did what did the, you or the, the team learn from that BYU matchup that you want to take with you guys into your matchup against TCU? I would say that, like we knew that going into the Big 12, we were going to play very good teams. I think that one thing that we learned was that some of the mistakes that we make can get punished very easily, and we're definitely taking that with us. But one thing that I definitely think that we can take with us, and a lot of us think the same thing, is that we can we can play with the big dogs, like B BYU. I mean, they're a top-ranked school in the country and also in the conference, and we competed. And you know, I think we just fell short in time, and I think that you know we're definitely taking that with us and you sometimes you don't always get the opportunity to play teams twice and I think that if we get the result in a TCU game we'll be able to play BYU again um, and just you know show out and compete. What stands out to you about TCU? I mean like Tip said they're a very possession oriented team so it's definitely a, like the big idea here is to keep the ball and to be composed. And I think that over the course of the season, we've done a tremendous job with that and growing as a team. Um, I mean, it's always, like no matter who the opponent is, we're always gonna compete and we're always gonna get after it. And I think that 
you know, especially for this game, knowing that we have, like, it's either you win or you're done. Um, I think it's super important that we're just like bringing the competitive fire into everyone. That win or you're done, not only for the tournament, but maybe the chances of making the NCAAs. Yeah. I mean, at this point, we're not totally sure on what's going on. I think we're all confident that, you know, we can get a result, but, you know, you just, you don't know what you don't know. So I think that, what, like Tiff said, we're taking everything one game at a time. So focusing on TCU, we're going to bring it. Speaking of TCU, you guys didn't play them in the regular season. So what has kind of been the team's mentality from that perspective going into this? Do you like, it's like, all right, they don't like, they don't have anything on us from, from experience or man, you know, could we, then, you know, we could have maybe had a, like a preview of them beforehand. Honestly, coming to the season, the big 12 season, we haven't played anybody. So we kind of had that mentality from the jump that we're going into a game that we've never played this team before and we only have so much information from like scouting reports. And I think that it's the same mentality. That's pretty much it. What's it been like uh, for the women's team to see the men's team get that number one ranking this week? Awesome, awesome. It's, I mean, I'm so happy for them. All of us are so happy for them. And like we completely support the men's team as Tiff said before, like we're all very close with the men's team. And I think that, you know, just soccer, UCF soccer program in general, like that's a huge deal. And I hope that they keep it going. They deserve it. What's the biggest difference you've seen in either yourself individually or the team as a whole from when you first entered practice this fall versus the, what we see now as you guys go to round off the, the tournament? I would say, I mean, it's hard to give a different answer than what Tim said, but growth, a lot of growth. Um, you know, s speaking from a player's perspective, um, we have stayed unified, but that's kind of just been our culture for a very long time. So I'm not surprised that that has been present this past season, but I would say I've seen a lot of individual growth in every single player this past season, whether it was you were getting a lot of minutes or you weren't. And I think that it's been huge that everyone has kind of just been like integrating together a lot. And that's the main difference that I've seen. I mean, we've all kind of gelled very well this past season. What about yourself as like a player and a person? What's the difference between the ESNO that started fall practice versus the ESNO we're seeing right now? Um, for myself, I would say my confidence has come back a lot more. Um, you know, last season, I was kind of just getting back into things because it was my first, like, it was like my first full season back from a huge injury and, you know, kind of just trying to figure out the speed of college soccer is one thing. And now I kind of just get to focus on, like, what I can bring to each game. And that's doing your job and following the game plan, but also, um, in putting some creative freedom into there. And I think that like, I'm kind of touching into that point later on into the season. And I mean, I've been enjoying myself a whole lot this entire season, but like, I mean, playoff time, you just, you get the opportunity to do, like do, I'm trying to find the wording, sorry. To express yourself a little bit better. Thanks. Awesome. Best of luck, man. Thank you. Thank you.